If you did a straw poll asking motorists what they think would be the future fuel of choice, most would say electric. You might get the odd high mileage driver saying petrol, diesel or plug-in hybrid, but our guess is that only a handful would point towards hydrogen. But Toyota, among others, thinks that being able to refill your zero emission family car in a matter of minutes will, for some, appeal more than waiting 30, 40 or 50 minutes for the electrons to flow. This is the all new Toyota Mirai, the brand's second generation hydrogen fuel cell vehicle and the culmination of almost three decades of development. Toyota calls it a holistic approach to electrification. So don't worry, it's not about to ditch its hybrid, plug-in hybrid, or even its fully electric models just yet. Cars like this are designed to sit alongside those models and complement them, if you will. Toyota says this new Mirai has been improved in every respect. And if we have a quick look at the numbers, we're inclined to agree. So it's 70 millimeters wider and the wheelbase is 140 millimeters longer. So it should be both better to drive and more practical. The fuel cell itself, that's 50% lighter, and yet it'll do around 400 miles on a tank of hydrogen. That's 30% more than before. It's also 12% more powerful, which means it's a little bit quicker. And the cost, even that, is down by 20 to 25%. Although you'll still pay for the privilege because prices start at a whisker under 50,000 pounds. Anyway, in this video, we will decide whether hydrogen has a place in the future of family motoring. But before we do, Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the Driving Electric YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. This new Toyota Mirai is on sale in the UK now and by all accounts looks much more conventional than the model it replaces. Gone are the awkward, rather upright proportions, replaced by a swept back, almost coupe-like profile. Like we suggested, space and practicality has improved with a usable boot and just enough space inside for four adults. It's hard to convey quite how different this new car feels inside compared to the old one. While that car probably had more in common with the first and second generation Prius with the speedo and the energy flow meter up the top there, this new one feels modern, it feels cutting edge. The dials, they're obviously completely digital and you've got this big central infotainment screen. The whole thing just feels tilted towards the driver. I say the whole thing, everything apart from the entire center stack, which is split by this silver trim, which means it kind of gives the impression that only the passenger can adjust the climate control and the forward and reverse gears. Anyway, I digress. Quality in here is excellent, but on the whole, it just feels like this new Mirai has been designed to be a car rather than some kind of futuristic experiment, and that is a good thing. If we start it up, absolutely nothing, just like an electric car. And that's the thing, really. This, to all intents and purposes, is still an electric car. Whereas they normally draw power from a lithium-ion battery that stores electricity, hydrogen cars' motors are powered by a fuel cell that converts hydrogen into electricity. You can fill the Mirai in a matter of minutes, but for the time being there are only a handful of filling stations dotted around the country. Price-wise, hydrogen is still quite expensive, retailing at around £10 per kilo. The Mirai's 5.6 kilo tanks, therefore, will cost a little over £50 to fill. Ostensibly, the Mirai feels much like any regular electric car to drive in that it's quick enough, it's quiet and it's relaxing. Now we said earlier that it's 12% more powerful than the model it replaces and with 172 brake horsepower it doesn't sound like very much but not once today have I thought this Mirai needs a bit more performance. Power delivery is instant and while it doesn't bend your mind like it does in some electric cars there's enough power there for the odd impromptu overtake it handles pretty nicely as well. It's not a sports car by any stretch of the imagination, but the steering is nicely weighted and there's not much roll through the bends either. That's particularly surprising when you consider how comfortable this Mirai is. It just wafts, it's compliant around town, but it's comfortable on the motorway as well. Do you know what? I reckon if you swap the badge on the nose for a Lexus badge instead of a Toyota, most people would be none the wiser. And what goes wonderfully with that comfort is the Mirai's refinement. It's just so quiet. There's no wind noise, there's no road noise, there's no electric motor noise. It's just so relaxing to drive. From launch, the Toyota Mirai is available in three trims, Design, Design Plus, and Design Premium, with the second of those expected to be the most popular. All versions get alloy wheels, a 12.3 inch infotainment system, plus Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as heated seats and dual zone climate control. Design Plus, that more popular trim, ramps things up with synthetic leather and extra safety kit for around £4,000 more. 
Design premium models cost almost £65,000, but add luxury kit you'd expect on a Mercedes S-Class, not a Japanese saloon car. Full spec rundowns are available in the written review on our website. Toyota projects it will sell 10 times more of these new Mirais than it did the old one. And if it works for you, and that's to say you can stomach the high purchase price and you're never too far from a hydrogen filling station, then there's plenty to like about this new Mirai. It feels almost as if it should have a Lexus badge on the nose, given this car's sleek looks, its premium interior, and its luxurious, cosseting driving experience. But unfortunately, the Mirai looks like it's going to be another niche choice here in the UK, at least until the hydrogen filling station infrastructure improves slowly over time. And you know what? We think that's a shame because underneath it all, this is a really decent car. Head to drivingelectric.com for all the latest electric and hybrid car advice, news and reviews. And check us out on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Finally, while you're here, make sure you hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to ensure you never miss a video.